everyone, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to make this duct tape um, accordion style clutch. So on the inside here, this is the exact one I made in the tutorial. You have six and then six and they're big expandables. Then you have a large Ziploc coin pouch and they have it has no fold over lines on the outside of course. And yeah, let's start off with the tutorial. So first off, what you're going to do is cut out five strips of tape that are eight and a half inches long. And then layer them on top of each other till you have an eight and a half by eight and a half inch square. So now I'm going to take my um, tape that I want to be on the outside, which in my case it is Baroque, and I'm going to take it and line it up and leave a half of an inch on each of the sides and then just cut it and then take another piece and do the same exact thing leaving a little overlap and then once again just make it fourth of an inch on both sides and then just do that all the way to the top of your sheet and leave a fourth of an inch at the top or half an inch at the top also. so now that I have my whole sheet done I'm just going to take it and peel it off and then I'm just going to cut out the corners just like that and I'm going to do that for all four corners so now what I've done is take two pieces of tape and line them up to make three and a half inches tall and now I'm lining it up with the three inch mark my cutting mat. I've cut my Ziploc for this coin pouch to eight inches as well. So now I'm going to take it. I cut it straight on one side. So now I'm going to take it and hopefully somehow with the camera in the way it's kind of hard okay line it up to a, where it is across and make sure the top part is lines up with three inches then take it and fold over the excess and just do that for the other part too but what you want to do for the other part is leave a half an inch on the bottom and the two sides. Okay, so now I have those two pieces right here. And now what I've done is cut out three strips of tape that are eight inches long. I'm gonna cut one in half. And then one of them, what I'm gonna do is take it, lay it directly under the zip block. Cycle. Interrupting my video. And then take the other piece it's, and then cover what's left. Just like that. And then do the same thing for the other side. Um, but you're going to remember you're going to want to leave the half inch on each side. So this is what your coin pouch should look like. Um, no fold over lines whatsoever on this side. But on this side it should have the bottom and the two sides. And then there is your inside. So now it's time to make the pockets. I always make 12 card pockets, but you can do any different amount of layout. So I, what I do is I take just two strips of tape that are three and three fourths inches and cover them to where there's no sticky. Then I take a piece of um, tape that I want to be the trim color and cut it in half. And then I take my pocket line it up with the fourth inch mark line start at one end and finish at the other smooth it out and make sure I like it and that it's straight and then if so just take it and fold it over onto the back and then I cut it off oh and I take the um, trim is a fourth of an inch 
if I didn't write, or three, or four inches. So I've done that for all my pockets already. So now here is what you do. So now what I've done is cut out four tiny strips at about half an inch wide, and then two, or one, and then cut it in half. That's about two and a half inches. Then I cut one that is about three and a half inches. So now what I've done, and yes, the pockets are even. They just don't look even. What I've done is take the um, um, half inch strips, stuck them on the bottom of all the card pockets, and with the two and a half inch strip, I stuck it on the bottom one. And now I'm just going to stick him on there. So now it should look like. So now I'm going to take a piece that I um, estimated just perfect, hopefully, for this wallet. Started out a little bit higher than it is. And then just stick that on there. And then I can fold over this. You might have to trim it down a little, which is what I'm going to have to end up doing. But trim it down to about a fourth of an inch. So now I have about a, an inch of tape left over from whenever I sealed the middle piece up. So I'm just going to take that piece, peel up the trim that was already there slightly, and then just stick this on the side that way it seals up that side and just do that for both sides so now I have just done the same exact thing for the other side so there's a total of six then 12 card pockets so when you fold it up they will both be facing up so now what I've done is take a three and a half inch piece and a three inch strip of tape and I'm going to stick it to where there is a half of an inch that I'm going to fold over and you're going to want to make four of these and these are going to be your expandable parts so you're going to fold them in so I'm so sorry if this is confusing at all but what I'm going to do now is take I've taken it in to excess you'll notice I cut it and then folded some over so once it's folded like this I'm going to take my Ziploc coin pouch, make sure the Ziploc part is at the top, and then fold it over slightly, and then do the same thing over here, sorry you can't see this, and do the same thing over here, so it should be like this, then I'm going to fold it up. So this is what it looks like now. I did leave some open space in the bottom because I wanted to try that out. Um, and it gives it more space because it's not taped down. So I think I really like it. And the coin pouch is not down all the way. Which I think I really like this actually. So now you're just going to take your edges and fold them in <clears throat> over. You do it just like this. And then fold And then that will be your flap. And you can use Velcro to seal it down if you want, or snaps, or magnetic closure, or anything you want. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Also, if you wanted to add like an ID onto the back, you could do that. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to make the duct tape accordion style clutch. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, I would love to see if you make one like this. You can um, post a picture on Instagram and tag me in it. My Instagram is jwallets. Or you can um, make a video of it and put it in a video response, and I'll be sure to watch it. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more tutorials. Bye, everyone.